family in London to the protagonist meeting Joe Goldberg. You know, that creepy guy from Netflix's hit TV show, You, and even an SATC crossover. Here are some Emily in Paris theories so crazy, they might be true. Warning though, spoilers ahead. Camille finally breaks up with Gabriel. Can we please see this in the next installment? I mean, Camille is a wonderful woman trapped in a lifeless relationship with a person that is unaware of his girlfriend's qualities. The show's chef is handsome, and we're not saying he's a bad guy, but it seems like he and Camille will finally realize they are not good together, nor they'll ever be. Yes, they were together for a long time. They had history and all, and they even loved each other at one point. But we believe they're better off without each other. Don't you agree? Emily in London. Season two of the show left fans with more questions than answers. And now, the third season is supposed to continue right after that big cliffhanger we were all left with. The protagonist will have to make a life-changing decision, continue working in Paris for a year before returning to Chicago, or join Sylvie at her new firm. This decision will be influenced by the fact that Camille and Gabriel got back together. After the protagonist finally decided to confess her feelings towards Gabriel, and after she and Camille made a pact not to sleep with that man anymore, Emily will be devastated. But is there a chance for the show to switch to another city? According to some fans, Emily will go to London in order to make a better relationship with Alfie. But then, the show's name is Emily in Paris, so it wouldn't make sense for the protagonist to change her location and move to London. In an interview on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in March 2022, Lily Collins was asked what she thinks of fans wanting to see her character in different cities. Quote, Honestly, I would go all over the world with it if I could, she said. But one thing is, like, I just want to go to streets where you can wear flats. Because wearing heels, I mean, you wouldn't think how painful that can be in Paris. What do you guys think? Do you like the idea of seeing her in different European cities? Let us know. Emily starts dating Gabriel. Honestly, I don't even know if I wish for this girl to end up with Alfie, Gabriel, or some new handsome cast addition the creators will probably include in the third installment. They are all so handsome. Don't you agree? After shipping them for a season, she finally got with Gabriel, and then he managed to get back with his ex. But here's the thing. Gabriel has no idea that Emily was only avoiding him because of the deal she and Camille made. In season two, Camille made her promise neither of them will try to go back with Gabriel. And since Emily realized friendship matters, she didn't let her feelings for Gabriel stand between her and her good friend. But what will happen once Gabriel finds out there was a pact? What do you guys think about this? Emily in a long distance relationship. Our favorite theory is about Mindy. We would love it if her band becomes really successful in the next season, she deserves it. And perhaps one of the most expected plots for the third installment is Emily staying in Paris to work for Sylvie and continue to date Alfie while in a long distance relationship. Fans believe she will then break up with Alfie once he realizes she still has feelings for Gabriel, but the show creators won't give her Gabriel so easily. You know, because we need more drama if we want to see more seasons of her struggling to get in a proper relationship with Gabriel. Before we continue with crazier theories, make sure you smack that like button if you haven't done so already. Sex in the City and Emily in Paris A lot of fans have noticed a resemblance between Emily in Paris and the hit HBO series Sex in the City. One of the many reasons for this is that the stylish outfits in Emily in Paris come from the same person who worked on Sex in the City. The person accountable for the beautiful outfits we saw in both series is the one and only Patricia Field, the costume designer who took care of Sarah Jessica Parker's Carrie Bradshaw and Lily Collins' Emily. The similarities between the two shows are evident enough, and that's also because Emily in Paris and Sex and the City come from the same director, Darren Starr. This is one of the many reasons we might need to prepare for a... Sex and the City crossover. Yes! we might see Emily working for Samantha Jones PR. This is perhaps one of the best theories we just really want to come true. If the protagonist moves to London to be with Alfie, it would be the perfect storyline for the creators to at least include a cameo from Kim Cattrall. After all, Emily doesn't need to stay in London forever, she can always return to Paris and start all over. A few months in London will bring much freshness to the show. We already mentioned that both TV shows have the same director, Darren Starr. Mr. Star, please make this happen. After that shocking cliffhanger at the end of season two, fans have been coming up with different theories regarding the future of the American marketing manager. 
While Emily needs to make a decision about her love life, she'll also need to make a decision about her career. According to the Sex and the City reboot, Samantha Jones is currently working in London with her new PR firm. Sadly, the reboot titled and just like that didn't include the legendary character, and fans believe this is a perfect opportunity Darren Starr should at least consider. For those of you wondering why Cattrall was absent from the reboot, she refused to appear due to a feud between her and Sarah Jessica Parker. But we don't see a reason for her to refuse appearing in Emily in Paris. What do you guys think about this theory? Let us know. Sylvie gets back with her husband. Sylvie, how could you hide such a husband? The chemistry, the love they still have for each other, we never really understood why the creators needed to keep this man aside. It's possible that Sylvie will get back to him in the next installment. If not, we would love to find out more about her history with him, at least. What was the reason for their divorce? What exactly happened between them? We hope we find out in the third installment. Julian gets a love interest. Julian deserves a break. After what he went through with the previous two seasons, fans want to see him get a love interest. It's about time, don't you think so? We would love to see more focus on the other characters as well. Before we continue, we also have some good news for you. Netflix has finally confirmed a third and fourth season of the show. The third installment is likely to be released at the beginning of 2023 at the earliest. Now, prepare for a rather shocking theory. Emily in Paris meets you. We all love Emily in Paris, but we're also obsessed with you. Our fans, you know, shout out to our fans. Oh, and the Netflix hit TV show. There have been a lot of theories regarding the show's future and what will happen to Joe after he finds himself in Paris. Well, fans believe there will be a crossover between you and Emily in Paris. A tweet from Netflix seems to prove this theory. Netflix shared a meme featuring the two shows, and while it looks like a joke, the tweet caused many fan petitions that asked for a crossover between the two shows. In the meme, you can see Joe in front of the Eiffel Tower with a caption saying, I will find you. There's also a picture of Emily on the phone captioned, this city is filled with love. Is there a way for Joe to get featured in season three of Emily in Paris? We think it's a brilliant idea. Because I'll search the world if I have to. I will find you. On a related note, which of these theories is your favorite? Share your own theory down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.